Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas with uh, Crazy Jones. Uh, I thought I would do a little tutorial, so to speak, on LED lights. I've had a few comments, not a lot, but a few comments on uh, how I do my lighting, if I buy them and where I get them from. I do not buy any of my LEDs pre-assembled. I do assemble them all myself. I'm going to show you guys a website. Let me just grab the camera. Okay, I will put a link to this. But what you do is uh, this tells you everything and assembles pre or pre diagrams your whole LED light. So voltage source, uh, I highly recommend a nine volt. So you type in nine. Uh, if you have any questions, you just click on the little question mark, and it'll tell you like what they recommend automotive if you're doing that to type in what voltage stuff like that very very awesome uh, diode that's the color of uh, LED so if you're wanting to put in tail lights if you're you know put red uh, put green if you, I run blue on the front of mine so I would type in 3.3 let's do white because that's the most popular so it says voltage 3.3 volts so if you have any questions, just quick, click on the question mark. It will totally tell you. So anyway, so I'm going to type in 3.3. A diode um, milliamp, the current, they always recommend 20. So type in your 20 milliamps. I don't know why. I'll be honest with you guys. I do not know anything about these LEDs. This is strictly how I do it. I, I'm just not very smart with these. I'll be honest with you. But this web page is amazing and it helps you a lot. Okay, the number of LEDs, let's just say two. So you, I mean, if you're wanting to do like light buckets, you could type in four or five. If you're redoing the lights on the front of your truck, two. Anyway, I'm gonna type in two. And then it show, design my array. There, it tells you exactly how to do it. Okay guys, you do need to put in a resistor. Uh, I have tried wiring in my uh, LEDs on my transmitter and it works for maybe a month or so but eventually they do blow out. Uh, your transmitter puts out I believe four and a half volts and most of these LEDs, at least like the ones you buy from Radio Shack or online, uh, can only handle three and a half. So eventually they do go. So I highly recommend a resistor. Okay guys, see it started. These are my LEDs. You can buy Radio Shack ones. They're like three bucks or so for just a package of two. They're only 7,000, focus, 7,000 MCDs, which is how bright they are. I bought all of these online, and I know this is hard to believe, but I'm into this whole light kit less than 10, no, I, let me say $15. And there is well over 200 LEDs in here. I've got green ones, red ones, orange ones, blue ones, pink ones, white ones. I've got resistors, and you buy a package of like 50 of them for like $1.50. Radio Shack sells the same resistors, and you got to spend like 12 bucks on resistors. So I highly recommend going to, it's Amazon.com. You uh, just type in the search engine, 5 millimeter LEDs, and you just pops up like crazy and most of the time you buy them in packs of a hundred with assorted colors there will be like 20 of orange 20 of red 20 of white 20 of green and it costs you like three dollars plus you know maybe a dollar or two shipping and handling very very well very mo good money well spent that's what I'm after all right guys let me show you my rig real quick just to show you kind of what it looks like I run the 9 volt batteries I put mine on a switch that's entirely up to you uh, you can just kind of unplug them or plug them back in. I recommend the switch. Sorry, guys. Let me... Uh, okay, backlights. Or I should say the top lights. And then I got headlights. I also run uh, a, a plug that goes down to my blue lights on my truck. Now we got the blue lights. Or the front lights. 
I did make my own light buckets. They're definitely nothing fancy, but they do work. And then my blue lights, they actually have a plug just because they're mounted onto the body or to the chassis. There's a plug on them that I actually plug in right here to run my blue lights. Okay, enough of that mess. Let's get down to uh, how I do this. Okay guys, so here we go. My uh, 150 ohm quarter watt resistor and an LED. Let's go for two of them, because that's what we were gonna do. So I'll pull out one more real fast for you guys. And uh, some wire, and we'll just show you just a quick little uh, soldering on how we do this. Okay, one resistor can run two LED lights. So we're just gonna take I'm gonna grab some single uh, wire here. Uh, preferably, it's a good idea to have black and red, just so you can kind of keep the, the negative and the, and the positive apart. And then here is some black. Just gonna do this really quick, guys, just to see, so you can see how to do it. Okay, what I would do, cut your resistors wiring down quite a bit. You don't need all that wire. Let's move it off to the side. Same with your LEDs. Um, make sure you remain with one short. Like I said, one of them is long, one of these is short. Uh, the short one is the negative, the long one is the positive. So I would cut these down, just make sure you try to keep those the same so you don't forget which one's long and positive. When you go to do all the wiring, if they're not wired in right, the LED won't work. It won't blow the LED, it just won't work. Okay, so the same with this one. Gonna make a long one and a short one. Okay, guys. Okay, how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go from negative to positive and put the LED right in between the negative and the positive. So it's gonna hook up from negative to a resistor to positive bring out the negative wire, bring out the positive wire. And that'll hook it up. All right, let's get started. Uh, bring in my uh, homemade alligator claw that I made. Okay, we're gonna start off by pre, I believe this is called tinning. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what they call this. And all we're gonna do is just put a light coat, whoops. Yeah, a light coat of solder on each one of your, uh, lights. So I'm going to take a little piece of a uh, wire. I'm going to put this one black. Bear the bear the wire. There we go. Three tin solder it. Some people like to use flux. I uh, don't really care. Sometimes I do admit the flux does help it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take a negative from this if and hook it to that. Just like that. We've got to run my, uh, run my resistor. Don't forget the resistor. Resistor Another uh, another wire. And then I ran it to the negative of this light, so I'm going to run it to the positive of this light with my resistor positive and then we're going to run a positive wire from this one to that LED pre 
310. To the negative of this LED, to this wire. Okay, so there you have it. That didn't take me very long, right? Whoops, hold on. We up. Try it again. Okay. Like I said, guys, I'm just doing this quick. I'm gonna actually disassemble this and put it back in my LED light box when I'm done. If you were gonna mount this on your truck, though, I highly recommend run shrink wrap on all your things just to keep it safe and uh, keep it from uh, shorting out. Okay, all that's left now is the battery. Uh, you guys can run a switch. Um, it's really easy to do. All a switch has is two wires coming out of it. So all I do is, let's say, uh, let's say this is the switch. You run the wire from here, cut this, run the wire to here. So the switch is now in the middle of the two, and then when you kill the switch, all it does is kills the power to to, to the uh, LEDs. You don't need it's nothing too difficult. I don't have an extra switch, or I'd show you how to do it. Okay, now if you had one of these, and you're running a nine volt, simply take the power, run it to that. The negative, or sorry, the positive, run it to that. The negative, run it to that. Plug in your 9 volt. Okay, guys, so uh, when we're done with this, let me just touch this one up. Okay. okay like I said, guys, definitely shrink wrap these. Okay. Then we just take a battery. Pretend like this is your 9 volt. I'm just going to run this one. We put the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative, and voila, you guys got LEDs. And they're actually pretty bright. They're very bright. Okay, so there's a quick little how to do. Uh, the diagram does show putting the uh, resistor on the end. I'm just showing you that it really doesn't matter where that resistor goes. But if you guys do run that resistor, these LEDs will last a long time. That's uh, Hopefully that helps out. Uh, a cheap way to do it I'm into all this stuff like I said the LEDs were real cheap the wires will cost you maybe you know depends on how much you buy eight to ten dollars the resistors aren't that much either the not the battery and these are probably your expensive part uh, hopefully that helps you guys thank you for watching oh if you guys have any uh, questions or comments feel free to uh, to comment hit the like button uh, I'll answer as many questions as I can about these. I, like I said, I'm telling you guys, I do not know much about these. Uh, I don't even know what the lines on the resistors mean. I, I really don't know much about these at all. This is kind of the redneck version of how I do it. This is kind of the, how you do it if you don't have a whole lot of money. Like I said, every one of my LEDs on my trucks, I did all myself, and that's how I did it.